Covering Colorado first has us watching closely as Coloradans cast their ballots in next Tuesday's election. A lot of national attention and outside money is pouring into the race for the Douglas County School Board. Political specialist Sean Boyd explains how the results there will determine the fate of a landmark lawsuit on vouchers before the state Supreme Court. The lawsuit could open the door for school vouchers nationwide or close it. The pro-voucher slate of candidates vows to continue the suit. The anti-voucher slate promises to end it. The high-stakes implications have attracted hundreds of thousands of dollars. The American Federation of Teachers, the nation's second largest teachers union, the biggest donor, dropping 300000 to help support the anti-voucher slate. Luke Raglan with the right-leaning group Ready Colorado says the election hinges on school choice. If the union back slate wins, I think the reality is just that we're going to be sapping opportunity from hundreds of thousands of kids potentially across the country. Choice has just become a word that really maybe it markets really well. Vouchers do not. Kelly Pointer has a kid in Douglas County Schools. She insists the district is being used to further a political agenda, not help kids. There's too much outside money and politics and agendas from all sides. The lawsuit will determine the constitutionality of an amendment adopted by 38 states, including Colorado back in the 1800s. It prohibited public aid to parochial schools. Douglas County's voucher program, which would have allowed students to use part of their per-pupil funding at private schools, religious and non-religious, was struck down by the Colorado Supreme Court based on that amendment. But this summer, the U.S. Supreme Court vacated that ruling and ordered the state Supreme Court to reconsider the case. Raglan says big change often comes from small actions. It was Oliver Brown's decision to walk his his daughter to the all-white school across the neighborhood that resulted in separate but equal being struck down in Brown v. Board of Education. And the decision by the Douglas County School Board to implement this school choice program is in many ways the similar small action that has the ability to spark massive change across the country. I do not understand how a public school board member would take money and divert that money from cash-strapped schools to a private school. In Douglas County, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.